Do you know what appendicitis is and how it affects your body? Well, let's dive right into it. Appendicitis is a medical condition that involves the inflammation of a small organ attached to your large intestine, known as the appendix. Now you might be wondering, what's an appendix? It's a small pouch-like organ that's shaped like a finger and it extends from our large intestine right there on the lower right side of your abdomen. But here's the thing, even though it's small, when it gets inflamed, it can cause quite a stir. This inflammation is what we call appendicitis. It's a common malady and in fact, it's one of the most frequent causes for emergency abdominal surgery. Now you might be asking, how common is it really? Well, every year appendicitis affects about seven out of every thousand people, and it can happen at any age but is most common between the ages of 10 and 30. But why is it such a big deal? Well, if left untreated, an inflamed appendix can burst or perforate, spilling infectious materials into the abdominal cavity. This can lead to serious, life-threatening complications. So, it's safe to say, if you've got appendicitis, you're heading straight for the operating room. But don't worry, while it might sound scary, appendicitis is well understood by medical professionals. It's been studied for years, and there are effective treatments available. So, if you ever find yourself doubled over with a sudden pain in your lower right abdomen, don't panic. Chances are, a team of skilled doctors and nurses are ready and waiting to get you back on your feet. And with that, you've got a basic understanding of what appendicitis is. But understanding a condition is more than just knowing its name. It's about understanding its causes, its symptoms, and how it's treated. Now that you have a basic understanding of what appendicitis is, let's delve deeper into its causes. Ever wondered what can cause such a seemingly insignificant organ to inflame dramatically? Let's delve into the root causes of appendicitis, the inflammation of a small pouch-like organ called the appendix, located in your lower right abdomen. The main culprit is often a blockage in the lining of the appendix that results in infection. This obstruction can be due to a buildup of fecal matter, also known as stool, or the hard, dried-up feces that can get stuck in the appendix. Sometimes, it's as small as a fruit seed. Either way, when the appendix gets blocked, bacteria multiply rapidly inside the organ, leading to a swollen and inflamed appendix, which is nothing short of painful. Infection is another major cause. An infection in the body, such as a gastrointestinal viral infection, or an infection in the urinary tract or airways, can lead to appendicitis. The bacteria causing the infection can travel through the bloodstream and reach the appendix, causing it to inflame. Abdominal trauma can also lead to appendicitis. A blow to the abdomen may cause the appendix to inflame, although this is quite rare. It's one of those situations that remind us that our bodies are interconnected in more ways than we realize, with a problem in one area potentially affecting another. Now, you might be wondering, who is most at risk? Appendicitis can strike anyone, but it's most common in people between the ages of 10 and 30. However, don't let this age range fool you. Appendicitis doesn't discriminate and can occur at any age. So it's essential to be aware of the causes regardless of your age. Remember, our bodies are complex and fascinating systems. Understanding how they work and what can cause them to malfunction is a crucial step in maintaining our health. Knowing the causes of appendicitis can help prevent it. But what about the warning signs? What symptoms should you look out for? Stay tuned as we will explore this in our next segment. When your appendix is in distress, your body sends out signals. Let's dive into the main symptoms of appendicitis. The most common and often the first sign is a pain in the abdomen. But it's not just any pain. It usually begins near the belly button and then migrates lower and to the right. This isn't a sharp, sudden pain. Instead, it starts off mild and then gradually intensifies over a period of 12 to 24 hours. The uniqueness of this pain can be quite telling. It tends to become sharper and more severe when you move around, take deep breaths, cough, or even sneeze. In fact, many people report that the pain worsens if they walk or make any jarring movements. But abdominal pain isn't the only symptom. Nausea and vomiting often accompany it. You might feel like you've come down with a stomach bug, but if it's paired with that distinctive belly pain, it might be more than just a simple bug. Loss of appetite is another common symptom. You might not feel like eating, and even when you do, you might not be able to keep it down. This is your body's way of conserving energy and resources to deal with the inflammation in the appendix. Then there's the fever. It might start as a low-grade fever, around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but it can climb higher as the infection progresses. The fever, coupled with a rapid heartbeat, is a clear sign that your body is fighting an infection. 
Other symptoms can include constipation or diarrhea, abdominal bloating, and an inability to pass gas. It's important to remember that not everyone will experience all these symptoms, and they can vary in intensity. Appendicitis is a serious condition that requires immediate attention. If you or someone else is experiencing these symptoms, it's crucial to seek medical help right away. Early detection and treatment can make a significant difference in the outcome and recovery. But what happens if you ignore these symptoms? What are your treatment options? Ignoring the symptoms of appendicitis can have severe consequences. Let's delve into how this condition is treated to prevent those serious outcomes. The primary treatment for appendicitis is a surgical procedure known as an appendectomy, which is the removal of the appendix. Now, you might be wondering, do we really need to resort to surgery? Well, the answer is usually yes. An inflamed appendix can rupture if left untreated, leading to a potentially life-threatening situation. Hence, medical professionals often recommend an immediate appendectomy to eliminate the issue right from its root. There are two types of appendectomies, open and laparoscopic. In an open appendectomy, a single incision is made in the lower right area of the abdomen. The surgeon removes the appendix and then closes the incision. On the other hand, a laparoscopic appendectomy is less invasive. The surgeon makes several small incisions and uses special surgical tools fed through these incisions to remove the appendix. Now, surgery might sound daunting, but it's important to note that both types of appendectomies are common procedures with high success rates. Post-surgery, patients typically recover fully with appropriate rest and care. But what if you're not a candidate for surgery or the case of appendicitis is not severe? In some instances, a course of antibiotics may be administered to treat appendicitis. This is typically reserved for mild cases or when surgery is not immediately possible. However, it's critical to remember that antibiotics are not a foolproof solution. They may not always completely resolve the inflammation, and there's a risk of recurrence. Therefore, an appendectomy remains the standard treatment for appendicitis. It's crucial to seek immediate medical attention if you suspect you or someone else may have appendicitis. Time is of the essence, and prompt treatment can prevent complications and save lives. So, now you know what to do if you suspect appendicitis, but let's summarize what we've learned. Appendicitis is not a condition to take lightly. It's a health issue that warrants immediate attention and understanding. As we've explored in the previous scenes, this condition occurs when the appendix, a small organ attached to the large intestine, becomes inflamed. The exact cause of appendicitis is often unclear, but it's believed to arise from an obstruction in the appendix. This could be due to hardened stool, foreign bodies, or in some cases, an infection. When such an obstruction occurs, bacteria multiply rapidly within the appendix, leading to inflammation and swelling. Symptoms of appendicitis can vary, but the most common one is a sharp pain that begins around the belly button and then migrates to the lower right side of the abdomen. This is often accompanied by other symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, and fever. However, it's important to remember that not everyone will experience these symptoms in the same way. Some people might feel only mild discomfort, while others might experience severe pain. The key is to listen to your body and seek medical attention if you suspect something is wrong. As for treatment, the most common method is an appendectomy, which is a surgical procedure to remove the inflamed appendix. In some cases, antibiotics may be used to treat appendicitis, but this is less common. The crucial point to remember is that early detection and treatment of appendicitis is vital to prevent serious complications. If left untreated, the inflamed appendix can rupture, leading to a potentially life-threatening situation. In conclusion, appendicitis is a serious condition that requires prompt medical attention. By understanding its causes, recognizing its symptoms, and knowing about its treatment, you can take the necessary steps to protect your health. Remember, when it comes to your health, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay healthy.